Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how EA completely changed the recruiting game and kind of what that means for you as a recruiter. Before we get into the video, guys, as always, give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get up to 400 likes, maybe 500 on this video? That'd be great. If you could like it right now, that'd go a long way in helping out the video. Subscribe, turn that noti bell so you never miss an upload, and comment down below anything else you've noticed since the patch. And if you haven't already checked out Underdog, guys, they are killing it in October. I've never seen anything like this. Like, they keep outdoing themselves. There's promos every single day. There's new ways to make easy money. I'm loving it. And it's also very interactive. I've never really seen a, a system a, a system like this in fantasy sports. So make sure you do check it out, guys. I will be posting the schedule. It should be above me and as well over on Twitter. So make sure you do check that out. And make sure to always use my code. Not only does it support me, it gets you up to $1,000 on your first deposit, plus a free pick, which you definitely don't want to miss. It's basically a free win on your pick. So make sure you don't miss that. And if you need help, let me know. So guys, EA changed a lot with recruiting. I did make an in-depth video going over one of the aspects of the changes, but I want to go over the whole thing in its entirety. They really changed a lot, and I feel like it kind of went unnoticed. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people were really noticing it. So I like to always reference my online league like I said in the other one. In my online league, it was so noticeable. So in our third season online, we had finished our recruiting cycle before that last update. So no one really noticed anything. Then we got into season four, and what we all thought was the cookie cutter, you do this, you get this, and you have this package and you win didn't work that way. A lot of people stole some recruits with new ways and new things working. And I noticed some things hindering me in other ways. And I'm going to go through all of those starting with every, I'm going to go through every aspect, but let's start with the, let's start with the basics. Let's go to a recruit and you may recognize this recruiting board from my other video. Let's go to a recruit. So when looking at a recruit, there's a few things to know when you go to actually hard sell, hard selling has been altered, which they did mention, but they didn't mention how it would impact other aspects of the game. So before when you hard sold, you didn't get as much as a hit for hitting a red X. So let me explain what that means. When you were like in week one or two, you know, when you're in week one or two and you're trying to do the process of elimination method and you have two greens, but you have two question marks and there's two options to choose. So me, a risk adverse person would wait one more week, would send the house a gambler, right? Someone who's willing to be a little bit more risky with it would go and choose. They flip a coin, choose one of them and hope they get it. If they hit correctly, they might win that recruit because they're going to get a massive early hard sell bonus. If they missed it, they should have been penalized. But honestly, quite all the time, I was the one being risk adverse and not sending it on that. And the person I was going against, they'd mess up, still be close enough and then get the hard sell or they'd get it right and screw me. Then I saw the update where they got rid of the way they, they, they tweaked the negative, the, the hit you would get for, for messing up. And I was like, wow. So all this time, basically you could have just been guessing and you, the floor was basically about the same. So what I definitely noticed, and I want to use this guy as an example in other videos. So if you guess wrong on the hard sell for a player, you basically mess up your entire week's worth of recruiting on that player. Like the impact is so much greater before you would still get a bump, just not as great as if you got it all right. Now you basically get almost nothing or little to nothing compared to other teams. So you're really going to hinder yourself if you guess wrong to the point where see now this is how it should be. If you guess wrong, send the house should be much more impactful. Before it was like any kind of hard sell was still better. So that, that comes into play. Also, I think grades matter a little bit more now. I'm noticing, for instance, I had a big lead on Alabama for a wide receiver crew in my league. And my playing, my, my play style was only like a, a B minus because I run the ball a lot more than I pass in that league. My play style was like a B minus, but everything else was A pluses. His, he's a bigger, he's a much more passer, was A plus for everything. So I had a huge lead. So typically having two A pluses and a B minus versus three A pluses shouldn't have killed me. But we both hard sold that week and I got absolutely demolished. She had a huge jump. It's almost like the more, the most ideal pitches now get an increased bonus, which is the right thing to do, right? If, if, a, if a recruit cares about playing style, that A plus should be a monumental boost. Before it felt like whoever hard sold early just got a big boost. And as long as you didn't have like C's, D's and F's, you basically were gonna keep up with any program. I feel like they've now tweaked it to be much more impactful. Like bad grades hurt you even more. A great, great grades impact benefit you even more. Guessing wrong really hurts your week and honestly could kill a recruit for you. So you have to really start to weigh the idea of do I just keep sending the house until I have enough evidence to pick the ideal grades? or do I just go forward? Now this impacted other aspects of the game as well. 
it i feel like i don't know if it's because it's like one basic coding like the way they code it it kind of impacts everything with interest but they basically made risk reward a lot greater for things another example of this and i showed this in my other video is going to be visits visits are significantly better now as long as you don't make a mistake on them like if you prior to the patch if you put a visit for any team georgia bama bad team you'd get a boost even if you lost it right especially for the better teams that makes sense but even if you lost against a team that was like a bad team or a three-star four-star team like not 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 a five-star you would still get your weekly recruiting right your hard sell you'd get your bonus and then you'd get an extra bonus for that visit which made sense to me because i was kind of like i guess in real life even if you do lose the game you still got to talk to the recruit they can't hold that all against you right so it, like if, if they care about proximity to home losing the game shouldn't really matter as much you know because they want to play at a school near that might be their dream school so i never really under I, I always kind of agreed with that but now it seems like it was tweaked to where you basically get almost nothing for the visit if you don't hit the goals which is basically what it's been saying on the right hand side when you do go to schedule a visit and you go to recruit right and you go to schedule a visit it will say influence red bars or green bars for what you're going to do so if we went to go put a re recruit on there you know like when you're starting fresh in a recruit they have they, they have their deal breakers they have their stuff it seems like they're slightly more impactful now especially on a visit so where my other video definitely go watch that if you want to go learn more about visits but visits are now super op i lost five five stars in my league because of a bunch of week three visits against fcs teams that should not happen see now now it's the flip side a good visit a, a good visit with a good, a good grade like an a plus or an a on a win against a, a non-win against a bye week and then a win against an fcs team can literally kill you in recruiting so back to like ncaa 14 visits are back in like i know a few weeks ago everyone youtubers across the board were all like eh visits have a purpose but i wouldn't like subscribe to just always using your 40 points on them now they're back but i will say you got to do them early you do not want to wait because anyone else who gets a visit in might kill you i feel like they really tweaked the influence of this game so a pluses hit even harder b minuses hurt even more early hard sell with a pluses are super impactful like visits get like players get recruits get swayed easier now in the sense like if you have a good pitch or you have a good visit they they can fully swip, be, swap before it was kind of easy to predict it was like okay this visit this guy every week is going up about an inch of interest alabama's getting about three inches of interest alabama's gonna win okay they have a visit but they're already up by like six inches they're still gonna win now you could watch a guy who's down by six inches of interest get a visit against the fcs pandas and flip alabama and go right before the commit spot so you definitely want to be utilizing visits now do what you got to do like i talked about i like to just assign like 5 to 15 players 10 to 12 players as my must get guys it depends on the size of your school and i'll do whatever it takes to get those guys if that even means dropping off some four stars i wanted or some three stars i wanted right so you got to kind of do that you got to get those 40 points for the visits recruiting packages are still king they still matter but visits are a must they're, they're like 1b now it was now it used to be like a and then d now it's like 1a and 1b so make sure you're getting your visits in make sure you're being very vigilant with hard selling and guessing now and I, i'm seeing this with a lot of people i've seen some guys in recruiting battles with me and i have 80 interest i have 80 recruiting hours so i'm getting i'm getting my my interest and my influence up a little bit earlier so i had all three unlocked so i did it i can tell the guy against me he ended up going up this much in the week which tells me he hard sold wrong before you could do that and still kind of grow no the risk reward gap disparity is a lot bigger now which i like i didn't like that you could guess i didn't like that you weren't getting hit with the with the bad visit i watched i was going against a guy for a recruit who played me we were playing for a five-star center he had a visit scheduled against me i beat the brakes off him right like i killed him and what ends up happening is we come out of that week he's still ahead of me for this recruit that i was only a little behind because he got the bonus right so we we both got our hard sell in so i closed the gap a little bit and then he got a, a visit bonus you should not be getting a visit bonus for getting the brakes beaten off of you against the other team that's recruiting realistically if i'm recruiting against you and you lose to me i should get the bonus right so i do appreciate now that they would have gotten nothing for that but see a lot of people i think going into season four or five like in my league or in any league going to the next season we're not ready for these changes there's been a few other changes that i may go through in another video but in terms of recruiting these are the biggest ones I feel like they slightly brought recruiting packages down a little bit and i only say a little bit not because they actually changed them but because recruiting is now able to be finished earlier a great hard sell or a great visit now can jump the bar by a whole week to the point where now visits can be done by week three four and five more consistently which means the beauty of 80 hours or 65 hours or 70 75 hours the beauty of having that is that if you give me seven weeks if you give me five to seven weeks i'm beating out anybody 
because slowly, incrementally, I'll keep outgaining them based on my hours. But a great visit can give you such a big lead and close the gap so much earlier that you may not have time to just kind of brutally beat through them, right, with hours. So I think packages weren't impacted in the sense that they were actually physically altered, but they're less impactful because our strict hours aren't as great because of that. This also means a package that probably is much more impactful now, or two packages, if we go over to coach abilities, are gonna be these. If you go here under elite recruiter, right here, the DL gain additional interest for every 10 hours spent, always a great one. But my school grades have a larger impact on DLs and boost to ideal pitch. So tier two and tier four probably got stronger now because of how quickly you can close a recruit because of visits and everything right now, how quickly boost to ideal pitch. If you have an A plus visit, like a proximity to homes A plus, and you do a visit and you have tier four, you're probably demolishing someone with that visit. So I think tier four and tier two just got a little buffed in the sense of how the game plays. And now it's more impactful to get great ideal grade pitches and visits versus just getting pure bulk. I'm going to do hard sell and 30 extra points every week and I'm going to beat you in the long run. And then the other one would probably be some of the visit ones. I mean, like complimentary visits, visits have a bigger impact, boost to every, if you have like, if you have these first three tiers right now, you're going to absolutely kill people on visits. Do I advise still doing them? I, there's still a chance they change visits again. I don't think I'd go all into my online league. That's going to be 30 years. I don't know if I'd go ahead and spend all my coaching points. Eight points is a lot. I'm still personally leaning. Recruiting is like the thing I can, I, I can stand on. I see my hours. I see my bonuses. I don't exactly like that. What if I don't have any, in an online league, you may not have a home game till week seven. It's very risky to put all your eggs in the visit basket, but those packages now have gotten buffed. They're not as useless as I think they used to be. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. This is basically the main changes. They just made risk reward margin a lot greater now, which is good, but it also means a lot of recruiting battles can be like this. I don't think there was many flips before outside of like a, if you're going against someone who had a week four visit at Bama, against Bama, and they won that game, you're like, yeah, I might lose this recruit. If you had a week four visit against someone and they had it against the Pandas and you were up by like six inches of, of gain, you're like, I don't care if they win. Yeah, they're gonna get a boost, but they still should be slightly behind me. Now it's like you can go from I'm winning this guy so clearly don't got to worry about it to wow I lost or I'm gonna lose this guy to oh my god I'm ahead like I think the risk reward just snapped or okay I'm close enough this should be a close battle so whoa I'm so behind now like I think there's just a bigger margin now for error and a bigger margin for success so definitely just be wary of that and adjust accordingly I hope this video helped you guys out if you have anything else you've noticed since the update comment down below and let me know of course subscribe if you're new turn on that noti bell comment down below like I said and give this video a big thumbs up. Actually, can we get 500 likes? That'd be awesome. If you're still here at this point, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and make sure to check out Underdog. One of the biggest months of all time on Underdog. And I say this every month because they keep out doing themselves. They just did a VIP week last week. You're missing out a lot if you're not on there already. So just sign up. Make sure to use my code to both support the channel and get your free bonuses. If you need any help, link down below and will be in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.